know, I know. It's like, it's like, The response has been completely overwhelming. Once we opened our reservations and we opened up our phone lines and our website, we have seen responses from you name it. We've had people that have reached out from Florida, from Colorado, from Michigan, wanting to come here and celebrate with friends that they haven't seen since high school and how cannabis was really a big part of them growing up. I've seen families want to reach out. I've seen people that have actually been excited to bring in their grandparents. I've even had people from international. I've had people from Russia, from Japan, from Italy that have all reached out looking to plan their vacations around the opening of the cafe. We're so lucky to have this response and have found that cannabis means so much to so many different people and, and how we can actually share and celebrate that with everybody. We wanted a safe place for people to be able to smoke so they didn't get in trouble smoking in public. Um, over 80% of our residents in the city are renters, so their landlord may or may not allow them to smoke in their apartment. They may have roommates or family members that they live with that they don't want to smoke around. So having consumption lounges was important for that reason, but it was also important to integrate into our tourism and entertainment economy here in the city. We have hundreds of bars and restaurants and dozens of high-end hotels in the city, and we wanted cannabis to be another attraction for people that are visiting from the local area or visiting from around the world into West Hollywood.
Can you hit? Two twenty. We're unable to infuse the food directly. Um, that's a lot of what the work that I've been doing prior to Lowell Cafe. Um, conversely, we are able to offer bud pairings to the specific menu items. It's akin to pairing wine, if you will. So we replace the, the wine with the weed. Um, and hopefully it enhances the cannabis experience for our consumers here at Lowell Cafe.